Okay, the time is 541, so we'll go ahead and get started with tonight's uh, Finance Committee meeting. Um, we do have quorum tonight, so thank you everybody for, for making it in. And um, Councilman um, Chavis is returning from visiting her daughter, so she's over the Atlantic right now on an airplane, and it's not she's not able to zoom in or, or attend physically, so uh, safe travels to her as she's uh, returning tonight. But uh, we got a, a, a pretty long agenda, but I think we'll be able to get through it pretty, pretty quickly because uh, we've talked about some of these things already. Uh, items one through four and number six kind of deal with the same thing. So I thought maybe tonight we would start with resolution number 12, 2023, which is item number five, authorizing the transfer of appropriations between budget, major budget classification. So I think that's, that is you, Mr. Innigan. If you wouldn't mind telling us what we're transferring and um, right. what we're uh, hoping to, hope, what you're hoping to purchase. Well, we're transferring $40,000 out of one account to another so we can purchase a non-required CDL drip truck okay it's, it's a 550 dump truck which would be it's going to be a great tool because we're having trouble getting cdl drivers it's just part that's of, a type of license cdl yeah it's okay. just it's just part it's just part of the going on right now nobody can get them even you know none of our departments can so by doing that we got we can get these smaller trucks they're less money one hundred five thousand dollars. i just need forty thousand moved do i can get it it's already built i just have to take it to uh the place to get a salt box and a plow put on it, and then I'll get a truck to turn around in two weeks. So that's oh wow, but it's sitting on the lot, so I need to kind of hurry up before somebody else buys it out from underneath me. So that's it is what it is. Efficient. So you said it's 105. Um, do you have the other 65? Yes, okay, yes, 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 yes. It's already in the but it's not, it's not a budget hurt, it's already sitting there. It's allocated for equipment. Gotcha, just don't have enough to actually purchase to do the full purchase. Yes. Okay, does anyone else have any questions? Yes. How many trucks would this be? Just one. One? Mm -hmm. And this is coming out of your budget, out of the general fund? And, uh, it's coming out of? Coming out of my uh, vehicle fleet budget, okay. yeah, so it's not. I believe it's a, it's a line item change. It's a line item, yeah, it's a line 430s item. 430s yeah. to the 440s. I don't have the code, but. It's budget transfer. Yeah. Budget transfer, yeah, that's what it is. Anytime there is a 430 to a 440, you have to come to the committee Right. Because it's just a major budget classification change. Right. So it's still in his budget. It's still there, yes. Moving it basically yes. from one bucket to another within his same budget. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for the clarity. I thought I wrote them down, but I didn't. I was going to give you the actual number so you can look it up, but yeah. And you don't have to have a CLD driver to drive this for CDL, no, no. Okay. No, no. The CDL? CDL, commercial driver's license, yes, ma'am. And to get one of them, you got it, it's like thirty five hundred dollars now. It did not used to be that way. And you gotta go to school. So it's that's a big, you know, that's part of the reason why we can't get get them, because, you know, who's gonna pay the thirty five hundred dollars? We have just for overall understanding your area. Do we already have um, drivers that have that? Yes, I have. I've had a few people quit, but I've, I've got five CDL drivers, five trucks right now. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Does it give you six, basically? Well, actually, I have more than that. i got a couple sitting, but the way we work, we have what we call a snow team. I get people from the utility companies with CDLs that come in and fill my trucks. Okay. So we'll probably have eight on the road. And we have two non-CDL. This will be my second one, so we'll have... 10 on the road. Does it do more than spread salt? Yeah, it plows snow too, yes. Oh, oh yeah, well, in the summertime it turns into a dump truck, yeah. Turns into a dump truck oh, sometime. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was getting at. Is oh, yeah. it oh, yeah. just oh, yeah. seasonal or is it year No, it's truck? no, it's looks like any other big dump truck. It's box comes off and it off the work it goes, yeah. Perfect. Those are gonna be the same question, so yeah. thank you. Thank you yeah, for it's, your time. Any other questions? Good, thank you, sir. All righty, yeah. thank you. Okay, at this time, I would take a motion to recommend resolution number 12 to the full council. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Then moved and seconded. All those in favor, signify saying aye. Raise your hand. Aye. Oh, aye. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. That'll be recommended three to zero. And then for the, uh, now moving on to the, the larger items on the agenda tonight, uh, has to deal do with our uh, budget. And so since our last finance meeting, 
uh, you should have received uh, in your email, everyone should have received from the controller a copy of the actual city budget by departments. And so I asked uh, Chief of Staff Corn to come in tonight and kind of give us uh, an overview of how the, the budget numbers now align to the goals. We've heard the, we heard the goals at the last meeting. And um, if there's any other details that we would need to be aware of. Thank you very much. Good evening, and um, I appreciate your time. First of all, I just wanted to give an overview of some of the work that we've done on the budget for this year. So starting um, in August, on the 14th and 15th, we did two budget town halls to get input from our community, and all our department heads were there. Then on September 5th, we introduced the budget um, when it was assigned to finance. And then on September 20th, that is when um, our controller, Tyler, did do his presentation, um, and all our department heads were there to also share their major um, objectives for the upcoming year. On October 7th, we, a second, excuse me, was the public hearing, um, and that hearing now permits the council to conduct a budget vote since it is 10 days since that hearing. And then on October 2nd, also, it continued in the council. Um, it was read at the council meeting and remained in committee, and which brings us today, the finance committee meeting. As a reminder, tonight's council meeting is the last regularly scheduled council meeting prior to the November 1st budget adoption. So this is the deadline. Um, of, with our regularly scheduled meetings to be able to meet that November 1st deadline. So as a reminder of some of the highlights of what Tyler presented, um, it is a balanced budget for 2024. The total budget is 55 million with 27.5 million coming from our general fund, 21.2 from other operating funds, 4.8 from the Internal Services Fund, and 1.5 um, from the Debt Fund. So I want to focus a little bit on the general fund and the revenue. So 27.4 million is our revenue with the majority coming 48% from our tax, property taxes, just under 18% from our local income taxes, 16% from other charges and services, and then the rest of the breakdown that we can go into. As a reminder also, the majority of our expenses from our general fund, 78.2% um, go to public safety, 8.2 to trash collection, 5.8 to the parks department, 3.6 to public works, 2.6 to the mayor's office, 1.2 to the city council, and 0.4 to the city clerk. At the October 2nd meeting, um, as you referenced, Councillor Denny, uh, it was requested to get some additional information. So on October 9th, those documents were emailed to you and placed in your mailboxes. Since then, also, we had a few questions that were submitted. And so just to share those answers with the total um, committee here, there was a question um, about the salary increase. And it is a 3% salary increase that was budgeted in the 2024, for the 2024 budget. There was also a question about, um, last year we had some personnel appropriations that needed to be done. Are we anticipating anything for, like that in 2024? We are not. Um, that had to do with some overtime that we had to give because of some openings and things in our public safety area. But we are working hard to fill all those positions and do not anticipate having those additional overtime expenses. And another question was asked about the council budget and um, asking why that was not increased. And um, we really had to focus on the needs of what's happening, and that's a little bit more discretionary. And as you look at the line items that you got, there was not increases where we, um, in any of our discretionary type spending, because cost of goods, services, and all those things continue to increase. So we really need to focus our budgeted dollars on those basic needs for our departments to make sure our city continues to run smoothly. Um, as requested, um, some of our department heads are here today at this meeting. We are so grateful for your consideration of our balanced budget for 2024. Thank you. 
I think I would uh, throw in just one slight caveat because I had asked if it was going to be restored, not increase the council's budget because the, the budget is to be restored yes. to the 2019 level. And I understand, and we talked about that even in, with the 23 budget, there are some priorities and needs, but it, it was a restoration, not a, an increase. Thank you. Sorry. I appreciate it. Within that budget. Um, I'll just start with everyone else's questions. Does anyone have any questions? I can lead out uh, just for one with the, the street department. Within the, the normal budget, it looks like there's about a million dollars for repairs. So one line has 850,000, another 250. Does that about a million dollars cover what we need for the city? Or are we looking at uh, uh, so our funds? Uh, you know, so you if you remember uh, last year, this year, this year we we had the same thing, but what we did with this year's was we have to use, we have to reduce the strip patching and crack sealing, and we used that 800 or 900 thousand towards community crossing grant. So next year, so we've been trying to catch up on our strip patching while we are doing community crossing and resurfacing. We still, some of the streets are five years old now. We have to start catching up on the crack sealing and some maintenance that's recommended. So that is why we assigned 850. We had the same thing for this year too, but since our partner, I mean, it was up, the community crossing was supposed to come from ARPA and that never went through. So we use the water we had for the strip patching and crack sealing towards community crossing. Our hope is next year we catch up on what we didn't do this year, plus do a lot more strip patching next year, and try to come back for uh, try to use ARPA for the community crossing, just like we have been using before. Gotcha. Okay. How's the personnel? Are you understaffed right now? Uh, so on the DPW side, we are we are we are good. Um, we uh, we've been. I mean, like you know, a lot of the things are online now. So we've been, um, and I have two staff that's helping with that, and there is a court enforcement inspector who is out there doing it. Um, so yeah, I think staff-wise, DPW and it's good. We are planning to uh, hire one person for the stormwater next year, like I mentioned in my last meeting, because the needs are coming, uh, becoming higher and higher, and we have a lot more complaints uh, that we need to do for the state. Um, so uh, that is in the budget. It, it, it shows that we're going to hire a person um, for that, um, but that's coming from the stormwater budget. Um, that's not coming from the general fund. Stormwater has to be used on stormwater. So this personal will be paid from the stormwater budget. In the original kind of the plan from way back, we had put a couple extra million from the, the ARPA funds into stormwater. Are you still anticipating that or are you hoping that? Uh, I, I don't yeah. think we have used anything on the construction yet on the ARPA, from the ARPA. So anything that is unused is staying in ARPA by itself. I think next year, we uh, like Tyler mentioned last time, the uh, council has to adopt a new plan if it has to be spent on different. So the previous plans, we haven't used it. So the money is sitting there, including paving and stormwater. So next year, a new ARPA plan has to be, um, you know, approved before you can spend okay. on other stuff. So. Yes. That's all uh, the questions Jim I have. Can other, Jim I, can I say just have one position sure. I got to fill. That's all I need. It's, you know, we're trying to get a CDL, but if I can, I'm going to have to come back and get another truck. So that's that's where I'm at. But yeah, okay. we're perfectly we're getting it done. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think um, then I might ask the same questions of our police department because I see our, our chiefs are here tonight. Thank you for coming in, Chief Bigsby. I know one of the things that was discussed previously was, and I'm going to use the wrong term, was it your bobcat or your, your bearcat? Uh, it was the Bearcat. Bearcat. Yes. Uh, and we know how important that was and number of incidents in saving officer lives and, and protections. Is that built into your budget or are you still seeking? Yeah, so we're that? right now. So I think we were able to get the Bearcat um, through the uh, the grant that we got with Indiana Department of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. They acquired a vast majority of that funding for it. And so the Board of Works just approved us to actually go forward with the purchase of the Bearcat. So all of that's incorporated in anything that we need as a major purchase that we need it for our, our budget next year. Um, and are you are we still budgeted for 63 officers or do we are We're you still budgeted for 65 out? officers? 65, um, great. 
right. currently is what we're budgeted for. We're still trying to get to that point right now. We only have uh, 59 um, and we have some projected retirements next year. So we're trying to get our numbers up to the 65 for every department around the United States. It's yeah. still difficult to get officers on the department, but we're still trying our best to get more officers uh, with us. Great. Do we have any other questions? I don't mean to. I think no. that, that was mostly my question. That, the one item I was really concerned about, and I think your body cams were funded as right. well that you had discussed previously. So we're, as far as the police department goes, you, you really have what you need within this budget. Yes, we do. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions about any of the? Okay. Nope. All right. Well, with that, um, I'll just run down the list then. So uh, our first budget is, our first item was proposal number 10, which is fixing salaries of appointed officers and employees of the city of Lawrence. Um, I would take a, rec a motion to recommend that to the full council. Didn't we just do that? No, what we, uh, the question, we, we did the authorization of transfer. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, so we actually need to recommend four items uh, that, that deal with the budget tonight. So one is uh, the salary of uh, appointed officers and employees. The other is the police department and fire salaries, the uh, elected official salaries, and then the actual top line budget number and, and, and I just misread, tax rate. I apologize. That's all right. Now I'm glad you asked that so I could explain it also then for the record as well. So thank you, thank you for bringing that up. I will make a motion to recommend proposal number 10. Okay. I'll, I'll second it. Second, so it's been, uh, Motion and second. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 None opposed. So we'll recommend that to the full council. And then proposal number 11. This was uh, fixing salaries for uh, police and fire department uh, for the year of 2024. I'll take a recommendation for that. I'll make a motion to recommend okay. proposal number 11. I'll second it. And second. So all those in favor? Signify by saying aye. Aye. Recommended three to zero. So, um, establishing proposal number 12, which is establishing compensation for elected officials for the city of Lawrence uh, for the year 2024. That's basically the council's budget, uh, Kathy, and I believe uh, the mayor, anyone elected on that one. So I'd take a motion for a recommendation on that. I'll make a motion to recommend proposal number 12 to the full, to the full council. Can I second it? Yes. I'll second it. All those in favor? Somebody saying aye. Aye. All right. That one gets recommended as well. And finally, this is the uh, tax rates for 2024. Uh, proposal number 13, appropriations and tax rates. So again, this uh, they brought forward a, a balanced budget this year, which I think is extremely important. So I'm excited about that. And um, outlines our tax rates for the, the coming year. Um, I'll go ahead and make a motion to recommend to the full council, please. Is there a second? I'll second. All right, have a motion to second. All in favor, signify saying aye. 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 All opposed, none. So uh, three to zero again. So uh, quick order there. We got the budget and then uh, all of our items are recommended to the council tonight, which meets uh, again in about 30 minutes. So uh, thank you everybody. Finance is adjourned. <laughs>